vamos lá então, vamos para vamos o episódio 2. Começou bem diferente essa segunda temporada do que eu estava esperando. Até com um pouco de suspense, um pouquinho ali de sinistro, mas vamos lá. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> Attack on Titan. Guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, everyone, everyone, I. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone, I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy, nice, that sounds good. <clears throat> Test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet bearer. Clay, coming your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. You are acting very weird, Mr. Admin. What's your game here? Game? Ha! Huh. Why, the greatest game of all. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen. 
hunt your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Flee, tiny beacon towners! Flee for your lives! Okay, I get it now. You are totally cuckoo. Uh, 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 hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. Uh, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is going to be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. We need to help people. He's going to break everything. Swords? Not going to cut it. Ugh. What can we do? How about a bunch of obsidian walls? Structure block time. If you can cause a distraction, I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh! Let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter! I could peek my teeth with that blade. I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Structure block against me. Uh, the, the, where's the structure block? Ha uh ha! -huh. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. <laughs> if you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. What is that? Quick version, the admin, he like, built the 
world or something. Uh, Kay, are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. I am now. Man, I missed you. Aw, I'm just saying that because I pulled you from the literal jaws of doom. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping Sorry. might be the key to defeating him. You calm down. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Not in there. Try it. I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh, boy. Do you really ah. think you can defeat me, Jess? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. Vem um pouco do... Como é que é o nome mesmo? Shadow of the Colossus. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? Nossa, que maneiro. Perfeito começo para um segundo episódio. Parece o começo do, da Batalha dos Cinco Exércitos, né? A luta com o monstro e aí você tem o início da história. E a lenda do Jesse só aumenta, né? O cara derrotou um gigante, alfaiate o gigante, alfaiate valente, uma coisa assim. Could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? Do you see the giant walking statue still standing? 
The admin is finished. Defeated. Dunzo. All I'm saying is we have no idea what else he's capable of. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually... <clears throat> Actually... I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Eu já já confiei no radar antes. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. Esse é o trabalho por Lucas. Sorry, Radar. We really need someone a little sturdier keeping an eye on this. I think Lucas should do it. I see. Fair warning. I am just going to take Radar's plan of running to get help if anything happens. That was a good plan. Uh, thanks. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just no respect. It'll be all right. Damage isn't too terrible. That's a really good outlook. And um when I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. I don't care if that life keeps trying to drag me back. I like Beacon Town. I like helping people. <sighs> That's great then. I mean, the people clearly love you. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. So go rebuild that monument of his. I'll stay and guard the clock. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. Bom, gostei. Tá ótimo. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Aw, oh, come on! You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they, 
all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah, um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep just uh, talking about for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, pos possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me, or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you! I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? Heavy. Awesome, Heavy. It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Hold up, that was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Chiashis. Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> Innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Are you insane? Are you just an actual crazy person? Is it because I look like this? Yeah, I can see why you'd think that. But no, 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 I'm just fine. I promise you. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. 
Oh, this is gonna be epic! What? Oh, come on! Time to show this goon what the Skitaro crack jumpers do to town destroyers. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! Até o Teio finalmente ouviu, diminuiu bastante os Quick Time Events. Got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, it was the craziest thing. That clock just vanished from under my nose. I know. Now the situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. I'm coming too. I was happy to stay behind and watch Beacon Town last time you left, but this time I wanna do more. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Hmm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Nossa, que interessante que tá essa segunda temporada. Então, o Teo tá investindo bastante nas histórias de Minecraft, inclusive na gameplay.